Peter Henze, nice to have you here with us. Thank it's you a for pleasure joining. for me. Thank great, you. Great. Peter, I want to just cover a couple of things in relation to GDPR. We're one year down the road with GTR. GDPR. Sorry. In your opinion, do you think businesses are well positioned now to be compliant today or are they still lagging behind? Um, like in most areas of law, um, it's always um, it's a race and um, hotels are still lagging behind a lot. Um, let's say, I would say they are about 20 to 30 percent compliant. Um, they miss out on um, certain uh, legal requirements such as privacy impact assessments. So when a hotel introduces a new software system or new processes, a CRM or um, like um, a new mobile phone that can track their guests, then they have to um, uh, start with a privacy impact assessment and without that the data processing uh, becomes unfair in terms of the law so it is not allowed to do that without a privacy impact assessment but no one does it in the hotel industry um, it's just uh, where like in all other industries they are this is um, industry standard but here it's not okay um, best to, to, to the best of your knowledge have there been any legal cases uh, in the last 12 months uh, towards any hotels or travel yeah, associated yeah. businesses? Um, lots of cases. The um, mm -hmm. problem with them is um, no one talks about it because right. it, it's always an embarrassment. So we had a couple of data breaches. The one that was most famous is uh, Marriott Starwood data mm -hmm. breach. Um, this is a billion dollar problem at the moment. And um, in Germany, we had also data breaches with uh, a PMS provider, with an um, internet booking engine, uh, and in both cases, they lost credit card data. And there are many, many more cases uh, revolving around uh, video surveillance. Um, and just finally, in relation to the Payment Service Directive 2, mm -hmm. um, from a hospitality operator perspective, what kind of impact do you think that's going to have? Payment Services Directive 2 is a very large um, body of law and it has a lot of, uh, has, has a lot of impact, um, same as PSD1 in 2009. Um, mainly for hotels this means they have to um, uh, shape up their whole payment process and, inter uh, and uh, information security systems and they need something uh, to improve their um, the authentication of a customer. So basically if you do nothing that means that by the end of the year you cannot accept uh, credit cards at all because you have no payment service provider that is willing to work with you. Okay, great. Peter, thank you so much. Cool. Appreciate thank you. Your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.